What's going on lads? Today I've got a bit of an update video for you guys because obviously I haven't uploaded a video in a little while so I thought it is probably the best thing for me to do would give you guys a little update. So um, let me quickly start off with the garage. So basically um, since my last video I've actually painted the whole floor of the garage. Um, it does need another coat because the wheels and stuff of the car was actually brown up some of the paint and it starts to crack over here. Um, but um, yeah, it's looking a lot better. Um, I've got some more tools as well, maybe from the last video, um, toolboxes um, and just basically a bit more supplies. Um, got my Hoover, uh, Hoover, power washer, jack, uh, some detailing stuff here. More detailing, freaking um, windscreen washing stuff. More detailing stuff here. Um, and yeah, just basically uh, uh, jack stands. And I've got two bottles here full of engine oil, which when I've done an oil change on that S3. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, pull this S3 in. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what exactly has been done to this car. Um, when I bought the car anyway, and then, yeah, we just go from there. Actually, I forgot to mention that I've actually put some more lights inside this garage um, as well. So now I've actually got a total of uh, four lights, I believe. So I've got like, sort of an LED one here, another LED one up there, and then I've just got the normal bulbs here and there. But in the future, I do actually want to put that light here and get another LED one and put that there. Um, but uh, time will come. But anyway, to get started, I think we'll start from the back of this car. Um, it's basically what's been done to this car so far and i'll go ahead and put this light on here so it's been dewiped um it's got a black s3 badge black rings um but otherwise the rear is sort of been a bit standard otherwise obviously it's got tinted windows and whatnot but uh it does have a full um cobra exhaust from the turbo back um so no cats nothing just straight to the back box um otherwise we have got Standard wheels, came with other, other wheels when I bought the car, didn't really fancy them. So um, these wheels was, were for sale on Facebook and I uh, got them, put new tires on and uh, that was it. It does have, I think they are 15 millimeter spacers. But um, yeah, otherwise all the rear has been tinted. I put these wind reflectors on, uh, no spacers on the front. Um, I did take the two fog lights um, colours out. I sprayed them gloss black. Uh, as you can see, they're quite a little bit shiny. Do I have to reflect? No, probably not. Um, the car actually does need to clean. It's absolutely filthy, but it's good it's been raining so much. It's been quite hard to do anything, really. Standard brakes, standard suspension. It's pretty... Um, other than it, the engine just been a bit tuned, it's pretty stock, really. Um, I'll show you guys inside. So it's still got the standard mats. Um, I will be getting the uh, bit more like um, special mats. Maybe some like S3 mats with the S3 badge on. Um, nice decal on the edge here. I like the S line on my A3. But um, it's got pretty cool S3 on the gear knob. Standard radio. Um, stand steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel, which is pretty sick. Um, I put some LED lights in. I've already done a video on that if you guys want to check it out. Up there as well. But otherwise, it's pretty standard inside. It's pretty standard, really. Um, but the big thing is underneath the bonnet. So, let's open this up. Obviously we've got the Zen arms as well, which is pretty sick. So under here we have got um, the black 
windscreen washer and coolant cap. We've got a full, uh, I think it's Ram Air intake. I think it's three inch. Yeah, so like a three inch here, and then I think it's probably like a two or two and a half. Um, I've got, when I bought the car, it had the standard uh, coil packs. I got the red ones. Um, to be honest, it did make it run a little bit smoother, but it probably would be the exactly the same difference as in getting some new OEM uh, coil packs, just because the old ones are probably a bit um, worn out after a time. Uh, PCV delete. Uh, otherwise, we've just got yeah intake, the intercooler, and everything is all standard. Um, it's got a full exhaust system, and it's just been mapped. Um, I do have the dyno printout in the glove box here. If you if anybody is interested in seeing it, there we go. So we have. 329 uh, torque and 332.4 HP so um yeah this is the one um go ahead and put this back so I do actually have quite a lot of plans for this little beast um, I want to put groove and drill discs all around EBC yellow stuff um, I do want to get it on some lowering springs or some coilovers. Uh, I do want to get some more spaces for the front because I feel like they're a bit too far in. Brakes, yeah. Um, maybe in the future get an upgraded clutch. Because we're still on the standard clutch at the minute. But um, yeah, she's a bit of a, um, she's a clean one. I mean, obviously it does need a clean, but otherwise the only damage or any sort of thing wrong with the car is just that this side skirt the lacquer has peeled off but i actually have it booked in with a spray painter to get it actually the whole um side skirt repainted and uh re and everything so that will basically be an all-round good body work car after that so um yeah just a little guy little update for you guys this is my new S3 and uh, yeah, got some videos to come. Um, I think the next probably video will be like a POV driving or some driveway shots of me driving past. This thing actually pops and bangs like anything. Um, it will literally light up the road behind me um, if I'm going for like a night ride or night drive even. It literally spits flames like no tomorrow. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Um, it's basically just a little recap since I haven't uploaded in a little while. I just wanted to get you guys up to speed with what is actually going on lately. Um, so um, yeah, I'll go ahead and upload the next video when I've got something to fit to the car or something to do to the car. I think the, the actual next thing I've got to do to this car is get a new battery for it. Um, lately, I've actually taken the car to Alton Towers in um, Stafford and... Uh, the battery died <laughs> so i think i need to get a new one um it's quite old already i think it's like four years old the battery so i think i'm gonna go to uh audi and get an oem one because this one's quite a cheap one i don't know where where it's from but uh i'll uh, go ahead and get a real audi sort of approved one because i know that i got one for my a3 and that was literally brilliant like it lasted for weeks and it would start my my old car really well so, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And uh, make sure you comment down below what you guys want to see in the future. Maybe you guys want to see something of this car or whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in a bit.